Welcome to the MEC3482 Electromechanical Devices course. This video is to help you understand what the expectations are for every week of this course. In this course, each week will be divided up into a unit. Your unit will consist of at least three activities, maybe more. The key activities include a lecture, some sort of discussion board response, and a quiz. There may be other homework type activities included, however, it is not a guarantee. This first week's lecture, for example, is on the safety of working with electromechanical devices. Right below that is a discussion board, and after that is a quiz, the standard structure. When you go into each one of these weeks, you need to view the lectures within the first half of the week. By the halfway point before the due date, you need to have posted in the discussion board. This discussion board is ultimately a communication point where I will answer the questions with a video response about what you post. For example, say you post about your office being right in front of a breaker box, and is this dangerous? I will respond to that with a video message located below the discussion board. The discussion board in and of itself serves no purpose other than tracking your response and when it was submitted. You may respond to each other on the discussion board, but that is not required. After submitting the discussion board, you then should view the responses to the discussion board questions. I will do my best to answer them as accurately as possible where I can. If I cannot or I do not find an answer or I am struggling to locate the answer, the video will indicate that. Finally, you will have some sort of quiz every week. This quiz will ultimately take the form of the most gradable item. It'll have the quiz icon with the pencil and paper or a homework icon that is a book. Regardless of which type of icon it is, you must click on it to access and submit through that link to get credit. I would also bring your attention to the fact that after this week, you will also have laboratory components. The laboratory components are not located inside of the course contents, but instead are sent via email directly to your proctor. This means that I need you to return your proctor form on time. If you do not return your proctor form on time, I will begin giving you zeros in the gradebook. Anyone who does not turn in their proctor form on time will be contacted and be given a date by which they must complete their labs formally. You may complete labs at an approved educational institution in your area if you do not have a proctor. Lacking that, I will have a date in February, most likely the 10th of February, where you would be required to travel to our Kansas City, Kansas, in order to take your lab practicals for this course. In order to avoid that, it is best you find a proctor. Your proctors are simply someone who is already in field with experience. They do not need to be someone with a ton more experience than you. They could have the same experience level as you if you were qualified to be a proctor. That is, you have experience in that field please indicate on the form what that experience is. For example, I've had people who were head maintenance men for years. That's qualified in my book. However, what I don't want to see is the new hire being listed as your most likely proctor. That is probably not correct unless he was an electrician for years. That would be his qualification. So I just wanted to give you the heads up about the expectations for each week. I look forward to interacting with you both through Blackboard messages and on the individual actions that you submit in this class.